learned from a young woman rescued from her car just seconds before it erupted in flames. It's an update to a story we first brought you last night at 10. Fox 8's Suzanne Stratford has the incredible video and special message for her rescuers. I didn't even know someone stopped for me. Honestly, in that moment, I thought I was by myself. I'm just rolling my eyes like, huh, tow truck. Her car had just broken down, her life in serious danger, about to become this fiery inferno, though Brittany Lewis had no idea. Because I always have issues with my car anyways. Along I-90 West before Dead Man's Curve Wednesday night, as the 24-year-old called for help, a stranger starts banging on her window. I was like, get out the car. It's on fire. It's going to it's going to blow. It's going to blow. It was Shane Knowlton and his girlfriend Jennifer Whitehead who the pulled over when they saw smoke starting underneath the vehicle. I've seen cars burn before, so I, I know how fast they can go up. This video of the Toyota Camry engulfed in flames was recorded by the Elyria couple. And I barely got the car in park. He was out running across the traffic. And I just pulled her door open and told her, come on, we got to go. I jumped like when I looked at him, but my instinct, I trusted him, so I, I got out the car. Shane instinctively knew that they needed to get as far away from that car as possible, which meant going back across four lanes of busy I-90 traffic, this time with Brittany in tow. He held my arm so tight, he squeaked, he did not let me go. He was like, come on, he ran me across the street. You know, they let me sit in the car and I felt safe, like safe and comfortable. Then noticing a small burn on her arm, she says the reality began to sink in. It was really fast, like in a matter of seconds. Like, I don't know if like if I sat there for an extra five, 10 seconds, my legs probably would have been burnt up or, you know, I don't know. They hugged at the scene, but didn't even know each other's full names until the story ran on Fox 8 News Thursday, where the couple said, you know, I just wish more people would look out for everybody. And God is good. So and we're very thankful that she was safe. That was God. Like, really, at the end of the day, that was God, like perfect, divine God's timing. Timing is everything, says Brittany, with a special message for Shane and Jennifer. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Y'all are the best people like ever, like honestly. In Cleveland, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News. Clearly very appreciative. All three have been going through difficult times during the pandemic, and now Brittany doesn't even have a car. But they remain positive and hope their story inspires people to help others. Mm -hmm.